there ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to another esports uh, live stream and for this summer majors 2023 legend stage we have the two teams battle axes and versus the, the divine my name is dragon knight i'll be your commentator for today and we have a beautiful Renke as a broadcaster he'll be broadcasting you guys uh, live in the two, st uh, two stream and for today's uh, team we got the uh, Divine on the alpha side, that is the blue side, they consist of Princess D, Orchestra, FMO, Drop, uh, Killas and Jonas. And on the right side, that is the Bravo, the red side, we have the uh, Battle Axis team which consists of Sword, uh, Sword Knock Q, Ship, Troublemaker, Krishna is Comeback and Excel. It seems that uh, this is the uh, third match overall, so we'll be conducting in six rounds with uh, two maps in each of these uh, rounds so this is the first map that is the sandal matchmaking mode and as the players are getting ready just as the uh, nuclear box is falling down let's see who gets it right now and it seems that uh, ship has taken the uh, overdrive box it seems it's going to be an advantage for the battle access team over here scorpion crusade is a good uh, combination for this particular map i should say Overall, the Battle Axis and Divine, they both have one win and one loss. So if either of the teams wins this entire match, it will be an uh, advantage for them to promote themselves to the champion stage for the Summer Major 2023. And it seems that the round one will begin now. Since both the teams are looking as strong in form over here. Orchestra coming from this side is giving cover fire for his drop killers. Seems that excellent troublemaker is putting a stop to his. Ship has a crusade overdrive ready so he can begin firing at them. If he has support that is. Ship coming in. He is low on health. He can take out Jonas. Oh, the reload time really affected Ship over there. Ship has taken the flag. He doesn't have armor so he's not going to survive much longer. Can his uh, assistant come here? Sword Nico. He takes a flag. He is low on health. He, yeah, he is not going anywhere over there. Seems another the nuclear drop, uh, nuclear box is dropping right now over here. This could be an uh, equalizer for them. And uh, no, it seems that the new nuclear box has fallen in the hands of Troublemaker for the Battle Axis team. Seems that three of them already has the overdrive ready. That is Krishna's comeback, Ship, and uh, Troublemaker. So it's going to be a tough situation for the Divine team since only Jonas and Orchestra has the overdrive ready at their disposal. Overall, these, uh, these uh, two teams are really good. They have a good form, good strength, good strategy. This is, uh, I can say with this, uh, these two teams are one of the best I've seen so far in this Summer Majors 2023. The only 8 minutes on the clock, the score is still 0-0. Seems neither team has gained any ground. Only the we did see an attempt from the Battle Axis team by ship, but that that's about it. Seems that Princess D and Jonas, oh never mind, it seems that Jonas just got struck down by a sort Nikov. Both of this team just needs one mistake to gain uh, a front over here. Oh, it seems that Jonas lodged a bunch of Scorpion missiles against sort Nikov. He acted as overdrive. Oh, that's a good assist from him. Excel can take the flag. Oh no, Princess D is coming over here. Ah, he was just within the radius of that Ares overdrive. Unfortunate. That was a good attempt though by Sordnico. And it seems doesn't end over there. Ship tries to take the flag, but he was being cut off by Jonas. It seems the uh, players from the Divine team are going for the counter attack.
ship with the scorpion missiles targeting princess d this is d did take some of the hits excel with this paladin overdrive krishna is over here with this hunt overdrive ready he can use it he has an opportunity here and he did he gets a flag oh he did not affect fremo who had his hammer of viking overdrive ready at his disposal he he negates them and the flag has been returned by orchestra good work by both of them Seems that Jonas has taken the flag. This could be a proper counterattack from the Divine team. He is low on health. He doesn't have any allies to support him, unfortunately. So the flag has been returned by ship. Ship has an opportunity here. No, he acted his overdrive to take out Princess D. He did take some of the self damage, so it's 50% health. Oh, that area is overdrive did not affect ship, unfortunately. That was a bit low for him. Good attempt by Sword Nico. With only 5 minutes and 12 seconds le left on the clock, there has been a good attempt by the battle axis. It seems they have been gaining the ground over here. And it seems that the sandal map has been chosen by battle axis. So they chose this map as their first and second round. So it could be an ad uh, home base ad advantage for them. But till now they haven't, they did make some ground, but they haven't brought the flag to their own territory. Oh, Excel just hit behind uh, the Scorpion missiles launched by a ship over there. Orchestra defending his flag with the striker missiles. Axel's uh, ship behind him. He has taken the flag, but he doesn't go anywhere. Drop kill has uh, returns it with ease. Oh, it seems that Jonas has taken the flag. Oh, there was no one. The top killers was there to support him, but unfortunately he was low on health, so ship returns the flag with ease. Oh, ship has an opportunity here. Oh, he has been cut off by top killers. Drop killers behind the wall over there. He has orchestra as his support. It seems that Excel and Sordnevko is going for the attack over here. It seems that Excel is trying to kill Jonas. Yeah, and he did. Excel has around 60% health. Sordnevko is going for the flag. He doesn't. He lost his armor. I think. He's, yep. Just died over there. But Excel can support him. Oh, he yeah, was low on health. He didn't have a double armor, unfortunately. Ship going for it. Uh, he has been cut off by uh, Fremo. Overall, these uh, teams are playing very good. Uh, Divine has a good uh, defensive. That's why the battle axes have, haven't been able to, you know, take the flag back to the base. It's a good attempt. These people have good strategy uh, on uh, great counter-attacking skills over here. So it seems that FMO is coming from the sneaky side. Krishna disables him. It seems that Overdrive is going for Orchestra over here. He has disabled Excel over here. Ofremo has a flag. Uh, he's not going to make it that far. Ship and Troublemaker was behind him, unfortunately. With only two minutes left on the clock, the score still is 0 0. This, round, this first round could end in a draw. But everyone knows how vital it, is to, vital it is to get an advantage in the first round itself. So both the teams are now striking back with fierce uh, brutality and force. Striker is an interesting choice for this map because of the obstruction in its way, but 
seems that Krishna is come back and orchestra is making good use of the torrent over here. Well, it seems that Excel, uh, he has Princess D to deal with. He has orchestra to deal with over there. Unfortunate. Ephraim and Jonas over here, they have a chance here. Jonas has the flag. Princess D and Trop uh, Killas as the overdrive ready. Oh, it seems that overdrive is going to clash. Oh no, it doesn't clash. Uh, Jonas is safe. No, Jonas gets hit by the Aries overdrive. Unfortunately, I, did, I don't think he saw that. But it doesn't matter. Princess D gets, gets in support for him. Seems that Scorpion missiles are chasing Princess D. Excel takes a flag. He has overdrive ready. This is going to be a close one. Excel dies over there. Jonas still has the flag. And... Oh, orchestra uh, disables ship and them. Uh, it's, the flag has been returned and the score won for the Divine Team. What a great capture by orchestra and this overdrive use over there. That is amazing. That is a close call also. Great show. Seems only 30 seconds left. I don't think Battle Axis can stage a counter-attack right now. So they are exhausted their overdrive use in that uh, last capture by the Divine Team. And with that, ladies and gentlemen, the round one has ended and with the victory for the Divine Team and the score result of 1-0. We'll soon begin round two in a short while in the same map with Sandal with the side switched. All right, ladies and gentlemen, it seems like we're going to begin round two in a very short while. The score is 1-0 for the Divine Team. Battle Axis has to struggle the second round since they have, pick they have picked this map for them. I think it uh, gives them the tactical home base advantage, but it, it has been ineffective for the uh, previous round. So let's hope the Battle Axis uh, change their strategy for this uh, round itself. And it seems that uh, round two will begin in under 30 seconds. And it seems that uh, the go-ahead has been given for the players to self-destruct and it seems that round 2 will begin right about now. Seems that round 2 is in full swing. Battle Axis has to win this round in order to gain the overall draw in, the, in their home base advantage over here. It seems that neither of the team has the overdrive uh, box in you know, And speak of the devil, it seems that the overdrive box is falling down. Oh, they did try to take the orchestra, did try to take the flag, but unfortunately it just died right on the spot of there. Oh, it seems that Ephraim will try to take the overdrive box, but he just died over there. Jonas coming with the Crusade overdrive. Oh, he has been bugged over there. It seems that Troublemaker has taken the overdrive box. 
You know the Crusader bug has been there. I think the hull itself has uh, various bugs. Especially with this overdrive actually. You know the icicle generator just goes through dead tanks sometimes. Or never even fires. I think I got some of these instances lately. It has been reported but uh, no solution has been yet come out right now. You can pray and hope that these solutions are fixed as soon as possible. It seems that Orchestra and FMO has the opportunity here. They have access, their ship to deal with. Krishna just spawns over there, unfortunate. The Orchestra disables Krishna. Shrub Killas has taken the flag. He doesn't have armor though. Princess D is there for the support. But it seems that Excel returned the flag with these. Seems that the ship launched a bunch of Scorpion missiles against FMO. I don't think he's going to survive that. Oh, it seems that Jonas' Scorpion missile just uh, knocks out Krishna over there. SL, XL has the flag? No, it does not. He has been denied by Jonas. It seems that ship has taken, tried to take the flag, but so he has been denied as well. Oh, it seems that Jonas just managed to grab the overdrive box just in time for trouble before Troublemaker. That was a good uh, catch. Seems that ship is oh ship has the overdrive. Wow, that was a great assist by Sordnico. If he didn't deploy the Aries overdrive, he would ship ha would have been dead right over there. And that's a good uh, solo capture by ship. And it seems that it's the score is now one zero four in favor of the battle access team. Seems this home base advantage could prove useful to them. Only seven minutes left on the clock for them to for them to maintain this lead. And seven minutes for the divine team to stage a counterattack to make this round a draw. Or they can capture another flag to make this round a victory for them as well. The battle is fierce. It seems that both of the teams are going head to head with strategies. Popping all over the place and all. Seems that Drop Kill ass. I don't think he's going to be support to Orchestra over there. He is low on health. The Paladin, they did nerf it recently. Don't give it that much health. Oh, Krishna did try to act as his overtime, but he was away from Drop Kill ass. He was out of his range. Oh, it seems that uh, Drop Kill ass, uh, stage has wonderful solo capture. That's a great counter attack by the Divine Team. The score is now 1 1 draw for the both of the teams over here. But seems that the. Uh, FMO is is not uh, ha, had just just going for the flag right now. Ah, he did try it though. Unfortunate. Only under six minutes left. The score is still one one in this beautiful sandal map over here. And it seems that neither team wants to give up right now in this crucial moment of time. Battle axis is still overall. A, Victory behind. If this round goes for a draw. It's going to be a immense pressure on on them. Only under five minutes left on the clock. It's this game could be anyone's right now. The score is still now one one. So been a lot of uh, firing, lots of rockets firing, scorpion missiles flying around, hammer pellets bouncing about. There's too many chaos in this uh, very small map over here. And if drones are enabled, it should be much more chaotic. You know, you'll see hoppers and all, and pallets just flying around over the map. And it seems that Jonas. He has a overdrive ready. Oh, it seems that uh, since the battle axis has taken the flag over here, sword Nico. Uh, he didn't get very far, unfortunately. 
Solo capturing info in this map in air is a little bit difficult. It seems that Efrino is waiting to clear the flag from the ship over there, but it doesn't matter. Ship did take the flag, but he's been denied by Princess D. That was a good attempt by the Battle Axis team. Well, with only four minutes left on the clock, Battle Axis has to score another flag in order to maintain the victory for this round. It seems that uh, Orchestra dodged those miss missiles by hiding behind the pillar over there. Excel coming in with the Firebird. He did damage Orchestra. He has Jonas to take care of. Axis takes the flag. Ooh, Orchestra disables Axis and Excel over there. Seems that the ship is uh, taking a defensive position. No, it just went back to launch a Scorpion missiles against Ephraim And it takes out Ephraim over there. Seems that Krishna is uh, backing up with the striker turret. So is Orchestra over there. Seems that the uh, ship is going for the flag. Oh, that's a nice... Oh, good attempt by... Uh, that is a great Ares overdrive by uh, Sornico. And it seems that XL has taken the flag. There's an overdrive box falling down. This would be vital for the team. And it seems the Battle Axis has ca captured the flag for them. The score is 2-1. Uh, oh, unfortunately, it seems that the overdrive box has fallen in the hands of the Divine team over here. That was a good uh, overdrive used by Jonas uh, in the previous with his Crusade overdrive, but unfortunately it did do a splash damage and not a direct shot, which is very unfortunate. It seems that Princess T has taken the flag. He is low on health. I don't think he's going to make it very far. Ephremo over here. Oh, he has a ship to deal with. Ship gets a shot at him. So is Krishna. Oh, it seems that uh, ship missed a shot. I think he died before that. Oh, that was unfortunate. That was a late overdrive used by Princess D. Very unfortunate timing. Only under two minutes remaining, the battle axis just has to hold on to the lead before uh, and prevent Divine from capturing any more flags. This could be this battle could prove vital for both of the teams over here. With only a minute and 30 seconds remaining, it seems that the Battle Axis is going for a defensive position over here. It seems that Divine Dream is going all out at attack. Orchestra has an opportunity here. He has been denied by Krishna over there. Seems that Orchestra is uh, staying in the base and launching a full scale uh, counter attack with his striker turret. It seems that the overdrive box has fallen down. It seems he's going for the troublemaker for, in the, for the battle axis team. Seems that ship has taken the flag. And uh, he did try, he has no allies to back him up there, unfortunately. Last 40 seconds remaining. This could prove vital over here. FMO has a flag. He has been uh, killed. Drop killers takes a flag in his honor. Oh, his orchestra tried to disable Troublemaker, but uh, he reused the repair kit just in time. Seems that Jonas has a lucky spawn over there. This could, could be another capture. He missed, but it doesn't matter. He has captured another flag, and the score is now 2 2 for the Divine team. That is a wonderful capture. That was a close capture overall, actually. If Axel, you know, if Axel managed to kill him, that would have been a return for them. And ladies and gentlemen, that's the end of round two with a score of 2-2 for both of the teams in that row. For the overall round, victory is 1-0 for the Divine team. And now we'll see you guys in the next round, which will happen in the next map. The new map, we'll soon find out which map it is very soon. Stay tuned, guys.
weather ladies and gentlemen welcome to round 2-3 between the legend stage of the match between battle axis and the divine team and also for your notice i also put up the prediction sorry for putting up a little late i hadn't opened my twitch stream because if i did the game would be lacking a bit so so go ahead and predict who, who do you think will win the current score is actually 1-0 in the favor of divine team and it seems that the divine team has chosen this red alert map for the uh, third and fourth round so it could be their own home base advantage for them so let's hope for the best for both of the teams and good luck for to them and also don't forget to claim your ultra contenders after viewing the stream you can also get it and also guys have you checked the new esports uh, fund i think it starts in the coming monday so day after tomorrow you can get these mono page i think these mono apple gold and aquamarine was used in one of these birthday events so i guess you guys have already seen for the paint looks in the juggernaut mode in the juggernaut uh, hull i mean so you guys can uh, invest in the esports fund just 50 levels overall and you can get a few ultra containers and i think the advantage for the esports fund is that you can get a barrel pass also so that's pretty dope so guys uh, should uh, invest in it once the fund starts on monday so good luck to you guys as well and also the esports funds uh, once the esports funds is finished you the winners of the esports fund will only get 7.2 or 7.5k tank coins because the fund is being split so 80 percent of the fund will go to you guys and the rest will go to the esports of winners of the summer majors 2023 fund and without uh, further ado it seems that town three has begun It seems that the battle axes are in the alpha side. The the flag is in the blue side over here, and divine is in, divine is in the bravo side, the red side. And it seems like I always said before, like the bravo side has the uh, you know tactical defensive advantage because of the fortress like structure they have with the elevation and all. And it seems that Jonas has taken the flag, but he has been de denied by Excel over here. It seems that Excel has an interesting combination change. He has taken ricochet and paladin over here. It seems no substitution has been set for either of the teams. Only one minute has passed and only one attempt has been made for the flag by Jonas. It seems he's going for another go again, but uh, without allies, he's... Uh, but then it is a futile over here. Princess D covering Sapphire for, with his Ares and Thunder overdrive. Oh, Jonas launch a bunch of Scorpion misses, takes out ship. The base is literally open for attack. Jonas comes in. Oh, it seems that three people have spawned right over there. Unfortunate. He had to fall back. Seems that ship is going against for Jonas. He has orchestra to deal with. Orchestra behind the house over there. Seems that Troublemaker is going for the flag. It seems FMO has found him over there. FMO acted overdrive over there. Oh, he tried to take it, unfortunately. He has been denied by Krishna with his uh, striker hunter combination over there. But well, seems that Jonas is behind the structure over there. I think he's playing defensive move. Scorpion missiles launched against Princess D. Seems like no, he's going against FMO. Ah, FMO just dies. Without a good defense or a speed boost to dodge those uh, Scorpion missiles, it's a direct kill who was launching them. There's no escape from that. Oh, unfortunate. Ship just got bugged again with that Crusade Overdrive. Oh, that's, this could be an opportunity here. Orchestra has taken the flag. Oh. That's a great counter. Oh, it seems the Princess is again launching another Ares overdrive. I think he got lucky over there. It seems the Troublemaker acted his hammer overdrive. He is clearing out the field. And he did not successfully clear it. Jonas coming in. Ah, unfortunately. It seems that uh, amidst the chaos of the XL has taken the flag. 
he has been denied by orchestra that is a good uh, overdrive used by both of the teams there princess d had the lucky advantage because the overdrive box just fell down the uh, seconds after he launched his first overdrive use over there that is a good attempt by princess d And also, guys, uh, don't forget to, uh, you know, if you guys have 1,800 tank coins, don't forget to buy the Elite Pass, which will give you, at level 15, the Freeze XT skins, which is pretty good, actually, compared to the old XT skins. I like it, actually. The days did a pretty fantastic job with the remodeling of the XT HT skins. So I suggest you all guys uh, try to take it. And good luck in that en endeavor over there. Since the princess did try to take the flag, but troublemaker just denies him over there. Orchestra has a flag now. He has ship to deal with. He is low on health, but Jonas can Jonas support him? Nope. Ship just returns the flag back to the base. Since the Jonas has Krishna and the ship to deal with over there, but uh, uh, Sword Nico is over there above him. And the flag has been returned. It has been a great attempt by Divine Team. No wonder they have uh, taken this uh, map as their uh, sec third and fourth round. They have a good uh, advantage of it. I think it's because they experience playing this map. That they have good coordination, the strategies, the weak points on where the enemies will come and counterattack. All such uh, things. Seems that Axis, oh, he did take some damage, unfortunately. I think Crusader overdrive used should be around mid range, not short range. Short range, you will get the uh, self damage uh, part of that. And long range, it's good if you have like a good aim. Otherwise, uh, the projectile travels a bit slower actually. I mean, it is pretty fast, but you can dodge it actually if you have a good speed with your hull. Seems that Troublemaker hit behind the wall away from the Jonas and Scorpion missiles. From all, uh, as the Oh, seems that we have a bit of server lag issues over there. Seems that I missed that. From did try to take the flag, but it has been returned by Troublemaker. I admit that ship has taken the flag. He has no armor though. Yep. Oh, Tropaculus returned the flag, unfortunately. Seems that uh, Krishna is going against Orchestra. He has uh, Sodniko with support over there. Excel, he didn't have enough health to make it over there. Oh, it seems that our ship uh, did a strategic uh, self-destruct over there, in the center of the map. A promo coming from the center, underground passage. It seems he's going against Sordnikov. We don't think he'll last uh, Sordnikov Princess D with the Aries Overdrive. This could be a support, and it is a good support. Orchestra has a flag. He has ship to deal with. He has Krishna to deal with. Jonas and Princess D come in the support. Princess Jonas launched the Icicle Strike at Sordnikov. Seems that the flag has been given to uh, Rob uh, Kilas. This could be the first capture of the round. And it is the first capture of the round for the Divine Team. The score is now 1-0 with only 3 minutes left on the clock. Battle Axis is struggling to maintain the position in this uh, round itself. It seems that they're going for a counter-attack. Axel launches uh, Activities Overdrive. He has uh, Sornico's Paladin. I apologize, Ares Overdrive. Oh, this is... This is a return. This could be a return and a return by FMO with that Hammer Viking Overdrive use. The Berserk Reactor. That is a good uh, effort by the uh, Battle Axis. They did come close to the center, but unfortunately, FMO was there to uh, wipe them out from the battlefield. Well, since that uh, Sarniko has uh, taken the overdrive box, which means he has the advantage for his team. This could be useful for them, since they are uh, leading beh behind with 1-0 score. Jonas coming in. So then Jonas is going to last much longer. Unfortunately, he has no allies over there.
Battle axe is desperate, you know, ship is acted in overdrive and he's like literally close to the enemies. Uh, that is, you know, for the... It's not a good uh, tactic if you, if I if I convene because, you know, the self damage is like literally takes half your health or it can take a full, all of your health if you're like too close to the enemies when you're launching that Crusader overdrive. I must say, Divine is being a, is doing great at the offensive over here, as well as defensive as well. They could bring a good all rounder over here. Oh, it seems this could be an opportunity here. Troublemaker sweeps out the enemies. The ship has a flag. Sardnico with the Ares overdrive coming in for the support. He has support. Ship has support. This could be a capture here. He doesn't have any armor, but he did capture. The score is now 1 1 for the Battle Axis team. What a great solo capture by Ship. It seems the bond between ship and his teammates are great. Seems the orchestra is going for the counter attack over here. He is low on health. Uh, he did not make it much far further over there. Unfortunately, good e good effort though. Oh, it seems that Jonas did. Uh, Last minute, the Crusader overdrive against the Excel over there. It seems that Orchestra has taken the flag. Tropkillas has his overdrive there. Is it, ooh, Tropkillas is barely hanging by a thread over there. Oh, the flag has been returned with only 10 seconds left on the clock. I think we know who is going to win this round. It's uh, nobody since the scores are 1-1 one, one for the, both of the teams over here. And ladies and gentlemen, that's the end of round three with this draw again for one one score between the battle axes and the divine team. Both of the teams are showing ex exemplary portmanship, especially the player ship and a troublemaker as well. I think the uh, Princess D and Jonas did uh, do great for the teammates as well overall. But uh, let's see the uh, Twitch. Uh, what what do you guys predict who is going to win? So let's uh, check that out right now. Alright guys, it seems that 57% of you voted for Divine and 43% for Battle Axis. So let's hope that the predictions come true for most of you guys since I think you guys will be rewarded by channel points. So since the uh, overall win is 1-0 uh, for Divine since they won the first round in the Sandal map and two rounds has been drawn in the Sandal map and the Red Alert map. Now the round 4 will happen in Red Alert map since uh, and the sites will be switched. So maybe Battle Axis can pull it off because they have a good uh, strategic defensive position over there. So it could be useful for them. And uh, no, I cannot uh, gift you some coins because I'm not an admin. So... Uh, so I think the best way to say, uh, get coins is from vehicle containers and also from the special missions, I guess. That's the only way. So you can just buy them from the shop. I know they're a bit expensive, but I think you can manage it. I think the uh, great offers the daily tank coin pass. You know, that uh, gives you 500 coins instant and 150 coins per day for 30 days. So you'll get like 5,000 coins by the end of the month itself. So I think that's a good deal. You guys can go for that. That's my opinion, uh, uh, anyways. So, and it seems that the round four has begun. Battle Axis has to st stay strong in this round itself. They have to maintain a lead. That's going to be a trouble for them. They will have a setback. They lose, they will have a setback in reaching the champion stage and Divine will have a good advantage for them. Divine has been playing very well in this map especially. I think they love this map. Since they have selected Red Alert for the third and fourth round itself.
There has been a good attempt by Battle Axis within the under a minute over there. It seems that ship is launching Scorpion missiles against Princess D, but it was like little close for the range over there, unfortunate. Jonas has taken the flag. He has the health. He, oh, is he? He's self destructed. He took his own life so that FMO can carry on his legacy forward. He has the flag. Princess D covering support. Oh, this could be a trouble for the battle axis if they capture the first flag right now. And they did. That's the first capture for the round for the Divine team. Scores now 1 0 in the favor of Divine. Battle axis has to stay strong. They have to launch a counter attack within 8 minutes left on the clock. Otherwise, it's going to be game over for them. Then we will have another round, a fifth round, which will happen in the sandbox map, if I'm not mistaken. Yep, sandbox map by selected by the battle axis team. So hopefully they can pull it through in that map itself. Great overdrive by a Sonic ship has a flag. Oh, he just got a shot by Jonas. That was, low, that was a great shot. It seems that Excel is coming for the support and Excel captures the flag for the Battle Axis team. The score is now 1-1 one, one, and it's got overall a draw for the both the teams. It seems that Troublemaker is, a, is needy for more flags to be captured. He tries to go for it, but he, without armor he's not going to make it that far. That is a good capture by the Battle Axis. They just, kept, they just did a counter attack in under a minute over there. Only seven minutes left on the clock. Drop class is going for it, but without armor, it's not going to make it that far. It might make a dent on the ship's hull over there. Ephraim has taken the overdrive box. He's running out of armor and speed and also double damage. There he couldn't use his overdrive over there, unfortunate. Oh, nice shot by Sardinico against Princess D and supported by ship. Ship is a bit low on health, so I don't think he is trying to go in for the attack over there. He can take can dent Princess D. The opportunity arises. Oh, this could be an opportunity here. Uh, troublemaker didn't have enough health. See that Sardinico is going for it. Excel can Excel make it on time for Sardinico? No, it oh it needs a speed boost, unfortunately. That's gonna be a delayed reaction by Excel over there. The speed bo uh, box landed a bit uh, sooner. Excel would have supported his teammate over there, but it doesn't matter. It seems that Jonas is. Ooh! It seems that Krishna sacrificed himself so that ship can carry on forward, and that's a beautiful bond of friendship over there. It seems that I, oh, I, I don't think what the ship was trying to do, he lost a ton of health when he uh, used that uh, Crusader overdrive. But like one hit away. Thing was aiming at someone, but it hit that wall over there. Unfortunately, that's a huge self damage over there. I think it lost ninety five percent of health just from that. That was a good attempt by Battle Axis, though. Great attempt. It seems it's not enough of them. They're still going for a ship, and Krishna coming over here. Princess D, oh, that Ares overdrive is going to affect them. No, it does not affect them. Ship has taken the flag. It doesn't matter. So uh, Sardinico is coming in. Drop killers behind him over there. I don't think uh, Sardinico is going to last much longer. Troublemaker. Troublemaker has a flag. He is low on health. And he has been denied by FMO.
Is that troublemaker is going for the flag over here? But unfortunately, without much health and allies, he's not going to make it that much far. Excel is coming in from the top bridge. I think FMO sees him. Yep, FMO uh, destroys Excel over there. Seems that ship. Oh, his ship is low. He's very low. Battle Axis has uh, many much opportunities to strike back over here. Oh, Sodnikov managed to use the Aedes Overdrive, but it, there was no allies for him to heal, unfortunately. Oh, ship, you have a guy to deal with. Drop killer has just spawned in. There's only three minutes left on the clock. The score is still 1-1. One, one. And it's, I mean, if this uh, round ends in a draw, we could go in another round, round 5 in the sandbox map. And it seems that Excel, oh, he's been shot down by Jonas. Well, it seems that Divine is going for a counter-attack. But it just, it's been, they've been held on high over there by the Battle Axis team. Oh, Drop Kill has acted as Paladin Overdrive. He is a support for FMO, but unfortunately he just uh, uh, died over there. It seems that Drop Kill has, has taken the flag. Ship. Oh, great shot by ship. Orchestra attempted to take the flag. Uh, without allies, support is a little bit difficult for him. Princess D with the overdrive. He does it clear anyone? No, it does not. Totally affected one person, but not anyone from the Battle Axis team. Battle Axis has one minute and ten seconds left on the clock for them to at least gain a flag and may make this round a victory for them. So it would be a trouble fifth round for them. It, the pressure will be on. Excel over here, so is Troublemaker. Could be trouble for the Divine team, but nope. Forty seconds, forty-five seconds left on the clock. Oh, ship is not going to make it that far. It seems that uh, FMO just spawned in there. Twenty-five seconds left. Troublemaker sweeping the base. This could be an opportunity for Krishna to take the flag. Krishna takes the flag. He is uh, he's struggling though. Orchestra is launching striker misses at him. Oh, great shot by FMO. Sodnikos takes a flag. Great overdrive by Princess D. Ah, that's going to be a return, unfortunately. And so another round ends in a draw. That's three round consecutively ends in a, ending in a draw. So, fourth round, the result is 1 1 for Battle Axis and Divine. So, we'll see you guys in the fifth round.
guys then ladies and gentlemen welcome back to the round 5 of the legend stage between parallaxis and divine it seems to be a beautiful and the creative map of sandbox man. you know basically i love sandbox it's a basic it's a really equalized map for all you know no uh, tactical side out edge for either of the sides so i love this map and it seems that this map has been chosen by parallaxis so hopefully they gain any victory in this round of this it's gone here one hell of a ride for them if they have to proceed to the champions stage <clears throat> by the way guys the teams reaching the champion stage will get the uh, esports thing so that be part of the thank you fund bundle i think it cost around the 5k 5 to 6k approximately so and that uh, bundle will contribute to the thank you fund so don't forget to buy those paints i think the paints are really good And it seems that the round uh, five will begin in under thirty seconds. It seems that Troublemaker has taken the overdrive box. Oh, this could be an advantage for the bar battle axis. Seems that Troublemaker is ready to make some trouble for the divine team in this sandbox map. And it seems that the round five has begun. Uh, since the battle axe is going full offensive over here, Sordnikka is coming in the center. He, oh, it seems that Krishna and Axel were preoccupied with the Jonas over there, unfortunately. It seems that the ship has uh, changed its equipment from rail to railgun and hunter over there. Since there has been a slight server lag in my end. Oh, it seems that uh, Krishna has changed his combination from uh, to Shaft and Crusader. I think Shaft is a good uh, combination. It can literally one shot and one kill uh, hulls very easily, especially the light immediate hulls. But I don't think the Shaft is going to be very much effective against Princess D since he's in the heavy hull. So Princess D can survive the sniper shot. Oh, it seems that Princess G is blocking the flag for Krista to return. The dead tanks can stay in the game for about 10 seconds. Uh, you know, they increase the time of that. I, I'm unsure why they did it, but I think it's for a good cause. Drop Killas going for it. Princess T with the support. I don't think it's going to support Drop Killas much. Yeah, it did support. Oh, it seems uh, my prediction is wrong. Oh. See, the orchestra just disabled uh, Troublemaker over there. Unfortunately, right for Troublemaker, he didn't make much trouble for orchestra over there. She has taken the flag. He has been shot down by Jonas. Sordnikov with the Aries overdrive. Excel has an opportunity here. Oof. That Scorpion just took uh, most of his health over there. That was a great shot by Jonas. Tropkilas coming in.
Great sniper shot by Krishna. Since the players only have 6 minutes and 30 seconds left on the clock, Battle Hexes is really desperate to, to capture a flag for the to secure a victory in this round. The overall round victory is 1-0 the divine, for the Divine team. Divine has won the first uh, round in the Sandal map. It seems that they're not going to stop there. It seems Divine is going full counter-attack. Ship has taken a flag. So, uh, great assist by Sodnikov with this series overdrive. Ship still has a flag. Tropkillas is there to take return the flag. I don't think he's going to. They're both low on health. Orchestra comes in, but it doesn't matter. Battle Axis has captured the flag for the fifth round. That's the first capture in the fifth round itself. Great capture by Ship. Oh, it seems that Troublemaker tried to use his overdrive and take it, but it doesn't matter. It seems his teammate has taken it. This could prove another counter attack for the Battle Axis team. Oof, Jonas uh, tried to take out Troublemaker, but they did uh, get in range of the splash damage radius. Since the Ephraim has taken the flag, yeah, is the, Jonas can take it for him. Nope, the flag has been returned by Krishna. It seems that Trop Killas has, has Paladin over time ready. Orchestra tried to disable Troublemaker, but unfortunately that was not good enough. Great overdrive used by Sornico. He has wiped the enemy from his base. But it doesn't matter since Ephraim has his uh, Hammer Viking overdrive. Oh, great sniper shot by Krishna. Oh, the battle axes are going in for full defensive right now. Oh, it seems that the Divine has captured a flag for themselves with only 4 minutes left on the clock. That was a great capture though, from the Divine team. With only 4 minutes left on the clock, Battle Axis and Divine has to maintain, uh, actually Divine has to maintain the draw. Battle Axis just have to capture another flag in under 4 minutes. It seems that uh, uh, Sordnikov did try to take it, but it's been denied by Trop Killas. It seems that Divine is going full attack over here. They win this round. It could be a game over for the Battle Axis for this match itself overall. Since that uh, Sordnico is coming in for the flag, he doesn't have much health. Battle Axis need a miracle in order to pull off uh, three, three minutes left on the clock. They need a miracle to capture a flag for themselves. Rob Killas has taken the flag. He has Princess D to support him. Princess D was getting Princess D is getting pinned by Axel and Krishna over there. Ephraimo accidents overdrive. Ephraimo is low on health. Can he make it though? No, he has been shot down by ship. It doesn't matter. Rob Killas is there to support him. Rob Killas has the flag. Oh, Krishna missed his Crusade overdrive shot. And because of that fateful mistake, Trap Killers has the flag. I think it's going to be another capture for the Divine team. And yes, it is. That fatal mistake proved for Krishna, unfortunately. With only 1 minute and 40 seconds remaining on the clock, Battle Axis really needs a miracle in order to pull off a draw at least. 
I mean, they did choose uh, Sandbox as their four, fifth and sixth uh, round map, and it could uh, no, it did uh, prove their home base advantage. But I don't think that's going to be a much a factor for the Divine team since they've been counterattacking every tactic uh, thrown by the Battle Axis team, unfortunately. Battle Axis really is in a pickle over here. It seems only one minute remaining on the clock. This could be a victory for the Divine team. Oh, oh Sardinik did try to support his teammate, but he did manage to kill Orchestra over there. Oh, Axis is coming in. The ship. Oh, that's an Aries overdrive. He has to dodge it. No, he does not dodge it. Axel can take the flag in uh, in honor of him. Jonas is over there. Orchestra has taken their flag. This could be a problematic for them. Who's going to get the first return? Oh. It's going to be a return. Ah, what a great capture by, by ship. What a great capture by the battle access team. Amazing. I think this uh, secures the draw. Oh, Troublemaker, can he capture it in 10 seconds? No, unfortunately, that's not possible. Even drop killers can't do it within 5 seconds. That was a great last minute capture by the battle access team. The score for the fifth round is yet again 2-2. Two, two. It's another draw. Four consecutive draws in a row. Wow, this, I'm very much amazed by the team's uh, skills over here. And so, ladies and gentlemen, we'll move on to the sixth round in the same map with a side switch, though it does not provide any tactical advantage, but we'll see you guys there. I'm muted. Alright guys, welcome to the uh, sixth and final round, or it could be the final round for the Battle Axis uh, team. So, uh, if uh, Divine wins or draws this uh, round, they'll win the entire match. So this is good. So they have they are literally one step uh, more to the reaching of the championship stage. And uh, if uh, Battle Axis wins, then there will be another round. It seems that the overdrive box has fallen. And it's a ship has taken it uh, from the battle axis, and round six will begin in three, two, one. And here it is, ladies and gentlemen. Hopefully, this round doesn't end in another draw. <laughs> we had four consecutive draws in the previous rounds, which is quite amazing, you know. I can also tell that the team, both of the teams are equally strong or equally weak, you know. It depends on the perspective of the players itself and the spectators. It seems in these uh, for previous five rounds and the current sixth round, there hasn't been any substitution taking place. There's a few combination uh, changes. Jonas with the OD takes out Excel. That is a great shot by Jonas. 
orchestra coming in he has an opportunity here orchestra has taken the flag Our ship is trying to chase him down, but it's unfortunately not possible. Uh, what a great capture by Augusta. You know, just took only under two minutes for them to uh, take, take up the lead. And it seems that Divine is uh, already 1-0 ahead of the battle axis. Don't give up battle axis. You can still maintain, uh, well, at least a win. You just need to score two flags in under eight minutes and 30 seconds. Seems as Sardnik was trying to st uh, struggling over here to kill Jonas over here, but unfortunately he has been uh, third party by FMO. Jonas is providing cover fire from one of these uh, containers over there, container loadout. Oh, Princess D with his Aries overdrive, giving to for Tropkillas. Oh, Oh, I think that Crusader would have hit the ground over there. Very unfortunate. Seems that Princess D has a flag he used to trim over there. Oh, that was a great, good attempt by ship. Unfortunately, it wasn't enough. Oh, Orchestra did that disable uh, uh, Sardnik over there, but uh, oh, that was a great return by Excel. That was a that was a close return. And since in that counter attack, uh, Excel has taken the enemy flag. Ephraim is over there. He's waiting for the hammer overdrive. Oh, he knows. Excel knows. Doesn't matter. Ephraim activated his overdrive. Oh, it seems Excel is literally low on health. Oh, the flag is being returned, dude. Oh, he. The flag has been returned by orchestra. Since that troublemaker didn't focus on the flag, he focused on the enemies over there. He did not see uh, the battle the battle access team over there. Unfortunate, unfortunate. Six minutes and thirty seconds left on the clock. It seems that Divine just has to hold on to this lead. It seems the battle axes are struggling over here to, you know, to gain some ground over there, even though this is their home base advantage map. This a divine is a really, you no, know, dominating this battle axis team. It seems that Excel is going for the flag. There's an opportunity over here. Oh, battle Excel has a flag. Can he draw it? Oh, he got shot down by Jonas. It doesn't matter, Krishna has taken the flag and he's captured of him. Krishna captures a flag and that is an assist by Excel. That's a good capture. The score is now 1-1 one, one with only 5 minutes and 30 seconds left on the clock. Ooh. It seems that Troublemaker is gaining some trouble for them. It doesn't, doesn't go very well far over there. Learn the fifth, 5 minutes remaining battle axis has to score a flag. So that they can stay in the game. I thought this is going to be a draw. It's going to be all out for them. Ooh, this could be it. Oh, Orchestra just denies uh, Sonic series over reviews and it just uh, kills uh, Trop Killers over there. Excel still has the flag. He's so holding on to it, but he has like three people on him. He's not going to make it that far. Battle Axe is uh, trying though. They are, but they are struggling. Slow and steady, guys. Slow and steady. Oh, 
only under four minutes left on the clock. And that's the window of opportunity is really closing down for Battle Axis team. Both of the teams are playing very valiantly, very strategically. They're showing full brute force techniques against them. They're equally strong in my opinion, you know. They're capturing the flag, they're returning capture, returning counter-attack, all those basic strategies. So it seems that Tropkillas is supporting Princess D with the series overdrive. Tropkillas is uh, is in trouble though, but it can... Oh, it just dies by Krishna's uh, snipers. Shot. It seems that Jonas is going for it. Troublemakers try to take the flag. He has his overdrive. Great overdrive used by the Jonas. What a great capture by Jonas. That was a good timing for his uh, use of the Crusade overdrive. Amazing. And the score is now 2-1 for the Divine team. Uh, the battle of will just became harder for the battle axis. Two minutes and 20 seconds and the timer is uh, counting down. That's how much uh, pressure is on on the battle axis team. They are trying their hard to ga gain another flag. They can capture a flag in under two minutes. That will be amazing. Two flags, I mean. It says uh, Tropkillas has taken the flag. He has Krishna to deal with. Oh, it seems a battle of wills goes to Tropkillas. He has a flag. He is low on health. He is like one shot away. And doesn't matter. He still captures a flag. It seems that the game might be over for the battle axis since the score is now 3 1 in favor of the Divine team. Seems that Troublemaker and Tropkillas has taken their enemies' uh, respective flags. It seems that Princess D supported Tropkillas with his Ares overdrive. That is a good use. Tropkillas has the flag. This could be the fourth capture now. What a fourth capture. I think it's impossible for the Battle Axis to gain some ground with this four captures uh, done by the Divine team. I think this could be game over, guys. Only under a minute left, the Divine team can now just relax, play it cool. But Battle Axis is not giving up. They're not waiting till the timer hits zero. It seems that Excel is going for the flag. Oh, he has a dead body blocking his way, unfortunately. But it doesn't matter, he still gets a flag. He's coming back. 40 seconds left on the clock. He's taken the ramp. He's going for the direct capture. He has a repair kit over there. But it doesn't matter. It's the uh, score is now 4-2. It's nice to know that the Battle Axis hasn't just given up yet. Well, since they're going for the third capture, oh, the troublemaker did try, but unfortunately, he was low on health. Oh, it seems uh, just in the nick of time, Ephraim. I'm sorry, sorry. This Excel just uh, taking the flag with only t f uh, five seconds left. I think it's game over for the battle axis for this match. They have to fight back hard for the next upcoming matches as well. And so, ladies and gentlemen, that's the end of the round six. With the victory goes for Divine, with a score of 4-2 against the Battle Axis team. So, overall, congratulations for the Divine team. They made they made it one step closer for them to reach the Legends. Uh, I mean, sorry, the Champion stage. They just need one more victory from another round. They did secure that victory. They'll be directly promoted to the Champion stage. So, good luck to them. And also, Battle Axis, they did uh, fight valiantly, even in. If it's the last round itself, they didn't give up. They fought hard. They fought very well. So good luck for the battle axis. They their fight just became harder now since they have like two losses right now. So it's gonna be tough for them. So good luck for the battle axis team as well. And also thank you guys for viewing this uh, stream. It's uh, very been wonderful uh, commentating for you guys. And uh, special thanks for Renke for broadcasting this. I think some of you noticed some background noises, so it was coming from him. So just blame him and not me.
I'm just a middleman over here. So yeah, yeah right. for, <laughs> for, for the pred- predictions, I'll just release a result soon. So the winner is for Divine. All right, the predictions and results has been sent out. So thank you guys for watching the stream and we'll see you guys uh, tomorrow. So there'll be another stream tomorrow. So stay tuned guys for tomorrow's stream. So good night and take care. Goodbye.